I think people in the West tend to be scared of death. There's definitely an uncomfortableness around death, which from my experience doesn't need to be there. A death doula is just somebody that helps somebody die well, to die happy rather than just to, to die in conditions that they're not happy with. Being only 25 and a male, I'm pretty different to a lot of the other people training to become a doula because like many other works that are compassion and empathy based, it's mainly women fulfilling that role. My brother was born with uh, cerebral palsy, which is a severe disability, and he was in a wheelchair and he couldn't talk. And from that, my sort of focus was always on quality of life and supporting people in difficult situations and circumstances. When I was younger, caring for my brother was obviously more challenging because I was only a little bit older than him. I can remember in my early teens, my sort of role was becoming more and more and I was happy to hang out with them. And as we got older and we spent many great vacations together and long summers together, our bond really blossomed. And towards the end of his life, I managed to spend a great deal of time with him. We had the last kind of three or four months all together where I'd see him every day and we'd play video games and we'd hang out. I think that's a large reason why I think we had a good death because we could see that it was happening but yet I could really save for the time that I had with him. Primarily what I learned from being with my brother and supporting other people like my brother is just a real comfort in these sorts of situations and being able to hold the space and to have conversations and support people and have fun and it, I'd say it's the core to my toolkit. A large part of the doula role is about their own sort of relationship with death and feel comfortable talking about what does come afterwards or their spirituality or um, their past life experiences. Uh, we can help people with their funeral plans and getting together ideas about wills or if they want to make any decisions about their future treatment or organ donation. And I think importantly we can support people after the person has died as well. Matthew is somebody I care for at the moment. He's a 23 year old man um, and he was my brother's best friend, which I think is great and it's lovely. Matthew plays a really important role in my sort of journey as a doula because although I'm currently training, working with Matthew, who's not ill or terminal in any way, um, really gives me the opportunity to practice skills like empathy and compassion and patience, which will play such an important role in my future work as a doula. I see him a few times a week and we try and have as much fun as we can and empower him to live as independently as he can and sort of try and have fun, try and make sure Matthew's happy and is enjoying as high quality of life as he can at this time. Coming to this role so early on in my life, it's unusual because there's so many experiences that I don't know anything about and couldn't possibly comprehend, but being willing to learn and explore all of this about myself and about other people is really the driving factor that, that's important in this sort of work. Death is something that many people only come to think about later on in their life and I feel as if many people on the course have been led here by their own experiences and losing somebody. Death isn't something that I feel should be feared the way that it is. Death is something that you can roll out the welcome mat and you can accept and appreciate and I think there's a softness there and a warmth. If you just surrender to your intuition maybe, then you can feel that warmth and that comfort that death may bring.